Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's been a while since I have filmed a sit down video. Um, but if you're new here, my name is Erin. I am a third, almost fourth year urology resident. And I do videos on YouTube about mainly my experience in residency or my experience in med school. Um, but today I'm going to do a video about is med school worth it? Or like, would I go back and do med school again, knowing what I know now? So, if you like this video or any of my other videos, please don't forget to subscribe. Let's jump in. So just to start you off quickly, a little background about me and like my kind of like journey through medical school. I knew I wanted to be a doctor since a really young age. I um, really like kind of focused on it when I was younger and then never really kind of reconsidered. I was like, oh, I wanna be a doctor. I thought there were like three things to do, doctor, lawyer, businessman. And my parents are both lawyers. I was like, don't wanna be a lawyer. And then I didn't really know what a businessman or businesswoman was. So I was like, probably not gonna do that. So then I was like, okay, it's a doctor. And then I just never really like thought about it. I was like, okay, that's what I'm gonna be. And then I just did it. Like, which is obviously very lucky. Um, but I never really like sat down to think about it. I went straight from college to medical school, um, didn't take any years in between. Um, and then I took a year off between my third and fourth year of medical school. I have a video about that on my channel. Um, you guys should watch it if you're interested in doing it. Best decision I ever made, like awesome, awesome decision. I think if you don't take any years off after college before medical school, try to take it off during medical school because that's kind of like the last free time you'll have before you enter like true adult life. Um, so really, really worth it, definitely recommend. And then match to residency and I've now done three, almost full three years of residency. So that's kind of like my journey in medicine um, really, really briefly. I think people ask themselves like, would they do medicine again? or would they do it for a couple reasons? And obviously you kind of ask yourself this at different stages throughout the medical school and medical career process. So the first is medical school. Um, for me, medical school was very up and down. The first year I had a ton of anxiety, like really, really badly. Um, I really wanted to succeed and do really well and I just manifested that by having really, really bad anxiety. Um, it did get better and I ended up having a really, really good time in medical school. I made really good friends. I actually enjoy studying. Like I enjoy sitting down and studying and even like the step exam studying, it was a slog and it was tedious while I was doing it, but I do enjoy waking up when I want, making my own schedule, everything's on my own terms. I would like sit outside and study. I could go home and study. Like you kind of had more freedom than working like every day in the hospital and being there on someone else's timeline. So if you had asked me first year of medical school, I probably would say no. I would probably say no, I wouldn't do this again because I was so stressed. But if you had asked me like second through, second and third year of medical school, 100%. I was like enjoying it, making good friends, like having a good time and I would do it again. My third year of medical school, kind of near the end, I went through another point where I was unsure kind of what I wanted to do for residency. Um, and so I was really anxious about making that decision and therefore that like spilled over into anxiety about a lot of different things in my life. And that kind of was the impetus. I got a good opportunity to take a year off, but then also with this anxiety and not being like 100% sure what I wanted to do, I took this year off. Um, obviously after my year off, I decided to go back to medical school because fourth year of medical school is like the easiest year of medical school. Um, I had three months of away rotations for my specialty, urology, you do like two to three away rotations. I actually did two away rotations and then one like sub I at my home program. Um, and those were really hard, just like wanting to impress people and um, wanting to do a good job. So putting a lot of pressure on yourself and, and you know, um, you don't really know a lot, but you want to know a lot, but there's not like a ton of time after spending all day in the hospital to read up and study. So that's a little stressful, um, but you learn a ton, you get more responsibility, you like actually get a taste of what it's like to 
be a real resident and so um really hard but like re really obviously great experience and just to see like where you could end up for the next five years is fun and then the rest of fourth year of medical school is a blast um you do the rotations you want to do um obviously you have some requirements but it's just so great um you get to have more freedom in your schedule um obviously uh you'll match at some point hopefully during that year um even if you don't match there's things you can do, but um, majority of people match. Um, and so then after you match, it's just like having fun, hanging out with your friends. So pretty much all throughout med school, except for maybe that first year, 100% would do again. Residency, I think, is when it starts to get a little difficult. And this is when you start to hear the advice of don't do medicine unless you absolutely cannot see yourself doing anything else. Um, obviously, it really depends on the residency, but I think across the board, residency is a very trying time in medical education. Um, it's a time where you're making a huge transition in responsibility from medical student to resident. You're spending a lot of time in the hospital. Um, you've never really like worked that hard, uh, at least for me, like I had never worked that hard. Even as a fourth year medical student in my AIs, I was still going home way before the residents were going home. So you're making a huge jump in responsibility, which is stressful. You're learning a huge amount. I mean, the amount that you learn on the job, you're staying late, you're meeting new people, you're still trying to impress people because you're still an intern, but you're actually trying to get work done and care for patients. Um, you also, you know, other things to consider, don't get paid that much. I mean, obviously you get paid a living wage but compared to the number of hours you work and the level of education you have I think residents are underpaid um, across the board and I think there's a culture in residency where you're just thankful to be there and kind of like get acceptable you get you accept some of the more difficult parts of residency and really um there are changes that could be made to improve your life but you want to learn and so you're kind of willing to sacrifice other things in your life and it's definitely that pyramid of sleep social life and like studying and work where you can really only have two potentially one um and so it really takes over your life like i cannot under like i cannot understate it um it truly is your life um you have time off you have you know for me i have two weekends off a month um which is pretty good but then i work straight two weekends you know friday night to monday morning on call the entire time um, you're waking up in the middle of the night, you're taking calls, you're not getting sleep. Some nights you don't get home till 10, 11 PM. You're waking up really early, you know? I don't see the sun for like months on end unless I have a day off. Um, it's hard on your body, the lack of sleep. You don't have time, a lot of times to have like proper, like eating really healthy, to exercise. Um, surgical residencies are physically taxing too. Um, you're running around the hospital seeing consults between long OR cases. I have like PTSD from the pager sound. Um, it's a really, really difficult time. I'm also only three years in, um, but I think two, I'm through like the two most, basically through the two hardest years of our residency, I think, hopefully. Um, that being said, I have made the greatest friends. Um, my co-residents are like my family. I am in a team of three people right now. We worked from 6.30 to like 6 p.m. So we worked like a 12 hour day together and then we went out for drinks afterwards because we like love each other. Um, so I met some of the greatest friends I will ever meet. We have like great inside jokes. Those are the people, like I really consider them my family. My attendings are also 
I think my program is very lucky, but we are very close with our attendings. I would not hesitate to reach out with that, reach out to them with anything. I have learned so much. My confidence in my abilities and my knowledge has really grown. Um, I feel like I am setting myself up for a career. Um, you know, I don't just have a job. I am a doctor and it's part of my identity. Um, so while it's been a very difficult three years, it's always been, it's also been extremely rewarding. I have many like patient interactions that I'm really proud of. I have surgical skills that I'm proud of. I have knowledge base that I'm proud of. Um, and I'm just like excited about where my future is going, which is like something that's really cool to be able to say. Obviously, I think that, you know, the answer, the overall answer to this question changes based on, like I kind of alluded to, the time. Like if you had asked me after I'd been up all night as a two, I'd be like, no, I absolutely do not want to like this. I would not go back and do this again. Um, right now, my answer is yes, I would do this again. But I do think you really have to take into consideration the sacrifices that you make um, to be a doctor and to go into medicine. And I don't think that's something to take lightly. Um, there's also a large financial uh, sacrifice that you make. Um, if you like more than likely will take out medical school loans, most people do. Um, and you delay that earning potential for a long time. Like I'm not going to be making an attending salary or like a substantial salary until I am like 33, 34 and I'm in a fair amount of medical school debt that I will have to pay off. And I have not been able to save this money before I'm 30 like everyone says you have to do. Um, so there's that to can take into consideration too. I do think there's something to be said where, you know, don't take this decision lightly. It's not just something you can like kind of dance around and like kind of half-heartedly do. If you do this, you put your whole heart into it. You put your body into it. You put your mind into it. You put multiple hours of sleep debt into it. Um, but for those people who really like it and who really want to be doing it, it's worth it. Um, I actually think there is some merit to the saying, don't do medicine unless you like can't see yourself doing anything else. That's a little bit extreme, but unless you really, really want it, you know, again, I wouldn't treat this like a job that you can just change out of like anytime you want, because you get to a point where you can't do that. Like if I were to leave right now, I'd be leaving a lot of people in the lurch. Not that I would ever want to, but just like, you can't just like kind of, it's very hard to not want to do it anymore because you sink a lot of time, you sink a lot of energy, you sink a lot of money into it. It's really hard to just stop. Um, and it's kind of like you make this commitment and I've made this commitment now for five years to be in residency. And then it wouldn't be really be, it would be crazy to just like not practice medicine unless something changed. Um, when I've spent five years training to practice medicine. So that's kind of the roundabout answer. My answer is yes, I would do it again. Um, but it wouldn't be a decision that I would take lightly. Um, I hope this was helpful and I hope you kind of like get the reasoning behind what I'm saying. Um, residency is like one of the best experiences, but certainly very hard. Um, so if you have any questions, please do not hesitate to reach out. I will see you guys next time. Bye.